Hello doctors, INICT January 26 information brochure is out and we are going to discuss part A of this information brochure. Remember that each INI has also separately released part B of their information brochures. So in a sense, if you are uh, let's say interested in any particular INI, then for you the part B is rather more important than this one. Part A only has general instructions uh, regarding the conduct of the exam, regarding the counseling process, the fee and so on. But part B gives the specific rules of that particular INI, uh, the reservations of each particular INI and so on. So at times there would be a conflict between uh, the rule that is written in this part A and uh, what is mentioned in part B. Remember that in all such cases it is part B which is going to predominate. So that would be the deciding factor. You already know what are the courses through INICT. In the prestigious uh, INICT exam you can get admission in MD, MS, 6 year DM or 6 year MCH or MD in hospital administration. So the fact is only those candidates are eligible to apply who are so far not pursuing their uh, uh, post graduation in any medical course or who have not completed their medical PG so far. That is a condition which the form will ask you right at the beginning. Uh, another important condition is that you must have completed your internship by 31st January 2026. This is a strict deadline. There would be no relaxation in this. So if you are a fresher candidate, you are not expecting to complete your internship by this date, then simply do not fill the form. Uh, regarding the counseling process, INI counseling has two typical features which probably no other counseling has. The first feature is that uh, before the first round of counseling, there is going to be a mock round. So mock round gives you a rough idea of which uh, branch and which INI you are likely to get based on the options filled by you and everybody else in India till that point. So remember, it's not a final allocation. In fact, uh, it's not even a provisional allocation. It just gives you a rough estimate. So based on that mock allocation, you are uh, allowed to change your options, the order of options. You can add or remove something before the beginning of first round. So that is the first uh, typical feature of INICT counseling. The second typical feature is Whatever options you enter before the first round, they would be carried forward as such for the second round also. So remember, there would be no fresh choice filling before R2. Even if you uh, change your mind, you uh, uh, let's say get an opportunity to uh, get some good course through NEED PG. You do not want to participate in uh, INI round 2. You won't have that option. Once your choice is locked for R1, same set of choices in the same order would be uh, applicable even for the second round. So keep this thing in mind because uh, these are things that affect your career directly. So as we mentioned earlier, each INI may have its specific set of rules, even a specific set of reservations. So for example, PGI Chandigarh is the only INI which has a reservation for candidates from rural areas. Similarly, uh, Nimhans Bengaluru has uh, a reservation for uh, uh, candidates who are native of Karnataka. It also has reservation for uh, people from the Northeast subject to other conditions. Similarly, PGI has this uh, uh, course MD in hospital administration for which you are eligible only if you have completed either three years in this relevant field in a hospital or you have completed five years of general practice after MBBS. So whether you have actually completed five years, uh, that would not be based on your self-declaration. It would have to be 
uh, mentioned in the form of a, a written certificate issued by the district magistrate. So the rules are pretty strict here. So uh, right in the beginning of the INI form, they will ask you if you are applying as an open category candidate or as a sponsored candidate. So sponsored candidate uh, quota you are able to avail if you are working in some PSU or some private company or hospital since more than three years and they are willing to sponsor your PG education. So to get the particular format for sponsorship certificate, you may WhatsApp us on the number mentioned on the screen above. Uh, there are some Indian nationals who may have graduated from foreign universities. So I'm talking about FMGs, somebody who is Indian national but completed their MBBS from Russia, maybe Philippines, China, Ukraine, anywhere. So for these candidates, again, they are eligible to apply in INI, but few typical things they need to keep in mind. The first thing is that some foreign universities do excessively lenient marking. We have seen people whose MBBS degree score reads 88%, 89%. So the INIs are also aware of this. So they have mentioned that in your degree percentage, you need to mention the percentage of score obtained by you in FMGE exam. And the minimum qualifying uh, score for open category has been kept as 55%. So make sure to check your eligibility criteria in advance. Uh, similarly, there is a second category of candidates who are foreign nationals. So somebody holding a passport of a country other than India. Even it's possible they may have completed their MBBS from some foreign country. So in uh, most of European universities, instead of a percentage, they give you a grade. In order to appear in INICT, you need to approach the university and ask them to convert your grade to a percentage. So that is first essential condition. Second condition, of course, you need to get a no objection certificate from the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Earlier, some students used to submit a certificate only from Ministry of External Affairs. So that's not uh, going to work now. Uh, regarding the fee of INI exam, for general category candidates, for OBC candidates, foreign candidates, or those having OCI card, or for sponsored applicants. So the fee is 4,000 rupees. However, for EWS, SC and ST candidates, the fee is reduced to rupees 3200. And for persons with benchmark disability, INI does not charge any fee for appearing in this exam. Uh, remember that the registration process has now changed. So compared with the earlier practice, there is a significant change. Earlier, you used to have a certain username password which was always valid and for each session, you were supposed to generate a separate EUC. That was examination unique code. So now the latest system is you need to do OTR which is one-time registration and complete the uh, comprehensive form which is a pretty big form. Make sure that your documents are ready in advance. So your birth certificate must be ready in the form of a PDF. Size must be less than 2 MB. Your signature must be inside a rectangle, which is 3 cm by 6 cm and scanned in the form of a JPG file. Your left thumb impression must be uh, inside a 3 cm by 4 cm rectangle and scanned again in the form of a JPG file. Your pick must be in standard passport size dimensions that is uh, 35 millimeter by 45 millimeter. So keep all these things ready in advance 
and uh, make sure you fill the form as soon as possible because this time around the form is not asking you for exam city it is just asking for the exam state so you can give three choices of states the fourth option would be automatically filled uh, as anywhere in india so uh, even if you fill the form earlier there is a chance you may have to travel to a distant center within your state so if you fill the form uh, at uh, later stages there is a strong strong chance you may have to travel a lot you may have to even fly so fill the form earlier but before filling the form make sure your uh, certificates and everything is in place so for uh, obc candidates having annual income from uh, you know from business or from other sources less than 8 lakh so make sure that uh, your obc certificate has non creamy layer mentioned on it and the certificate must be uh, issued after 1st april 2025 and before of course the last date of filling this form which is 5 pm on 21st october 2025 uh, similar uh, timelines hold for ews candidates so ews candidates get a significant advantage but remember that uh, your ews criteria would be checked very strictly i repeat very strictly there are a lot of conditions uh, for you to come under EWS category. So you must not have agricultural land uh, uh, greater than or equal to five acres. Your family must not have a plot uh, in a municipal area. So there are many such conditions. So to get the detail of those conditions, you may again WhatsApp us at uh, this number. So alternately, if you need the format for either document, either EWS, OBC, NCL or sponsorship certificate. So for that also, you may uh, WhatsApp us. We'll send you the documents pretty quickly. So the pattern of the exam needs to be understood in advance. There would be four sections, each of 45 minutes and each having 50 questions. Each section would be independent of the others. So remember, uh, if you are appearing in mock tests organized by the various institutes, then you would already know this basic fact that uh, assuming your exam starts in the online format, of course, then after 45 minutes, the first section would vanish. If some questions were left unattempted in the first section, you cannot uh, go back to them. Similarly, Assuming that you are very fast with the, your uh, uh, trying the questions and everything, the first section you complete in just 30 minutes, still you would need to wait for 45 minutes before the section B comes. So uh, remember it's uh, like appearing in four different exams, each independent of the other three. So INI gives you a, a chance to be uh, you know, part of the prestigious INIs. So, on behalf of Team Vidya Sarthi, we wish you all the best. Anything you wish to ask or our paid counseling you wish to avail, you are most welcome for that. We manage everything in your um, INI counseling from form filling, making preference list, filling your long list online before first round as well as before the open round. So everything we do, remember those uh, 3 lakh and 6 lakh penalties are also there. So we'll ensure that you escape all those penalties and you are totally aware of all the rules well in advance. So good luck.